Hello everyone, I'm the Ninja Turkey, and um, welcome to an interesting video, at least I think. Um, I went and picked up a um, Famicom Mini, not an NES Classic, a Famicom Mini, the Japanese version of the NES Classic. Because as we all know, the NES Classic is impossible to find, and it only made sense for me to uh, get the Japanese version instead, because I think I picked it up for like 150 bucks off Amazon, which is a lot, don't get me wrong, and I shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have spent the money on something I really don't need, to be honest, but come on, it's a Famicom Mini. Um, but it's way, way cheaper than NES Classics are, and I don't even know if NES Classics, like, I guess if you're idle for a while it does this, um... I don't know, like, if you can even find them or what, but Famicom Minis, you totally can. So, I decided it'd be pretty cool to have one, so I go, went ahead and bought one, and I thought it might be cool to make a video about it. And I'm actually, I actually want to show you how the uh, Famicom Mini itself looks, so I'm going to put in a video of that right now. So, uh, here's the unit itself. It's extremely small. I can see why they call it the Famicom Mini. I mean... I don't know how this compares to the NES Mini, but or the NES Classic, I guess is what they call it, but like, yeah, it's about the size of my hand. Um, I mean, the, the, the console, or whatever you want to call it itself, isn't that bad. Oh, it looks like my cat's going to come in the shot here. Cat, <laughs> busy right now. Um, but what's really small is the controller, like, it might not, it might not be easy to tell or, or, I mean, it might be hard to tell based on the camera, but, like, it's really small, like, kind of hard to play with. I don't know how the NES controller, the NES Classic controllers compare, but, like, man, just compare, it to, compare that to my hand. Like, it's really hard to play with here compared to my cat that who feels like he needs to just join in on this whole thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean... You can play with these, but it's a, it's just a little difficult. I honestly don't... I'll bet the NES ones are about the same size. It all, it's also kind of weird because the cord comes out through the side here, so you kind of have to, like... I do it with both hands, except I'm holding one with the... I'm, one of my hands is holding the camera. Um, you kind of have to, like, let it go through your fingers like this as you're using it, because it's... Uh, other, you know, it doesn't go out through the front like this. I don't know if the original Famicom was like that. Probably, I mean, if they're like that on here. Another thing that's like the original Famicom is the controllers are completely attached to the system. Uh, they're, they're, they go, the cords go into the unit. Like, it's a pretty faithful recreation, I guess. I don't have an actual Famicom, but... Cat? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously, Cat? Just go away for one second, cat, <laughs> so I can show this thing off. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Just uh, thought I'd give you guys a visual here of what it looks like, um, you know, before we actually start playing it. It's, you know, it's pretty cool. I do wish the controllers were a bit bigger, and I wish the cord was longer. Like, this cord is not very long. Um, <laughs> like, it's it's hard to hook this thing up to a TV because uh, you got, like, I don't know, two, three feet of cord, and considering how far away some TVs can be, that's not the TV I use, by the way, that's my dad's old-ass TV that he uses, um, but, yeah, I don't know, pretty cool system, but, you know, not perfect with the small controllers and the short cords, but I guess they're trying to be somewhat, make it somewhat of a faithful recreation of the actual Famicom, so, pretty cool. Uh, I guess let's go back to, um, gameplay, but first we have to say bye to my cat. Bye, cat. His name's Popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to what we were doing. Okay, so, uh, now that you've seen that, um, I don't know, I don't have any, like, huge plans with this thing, um... I mean, theoretically, I could do a Let's Play of one of these games through the Famicom Mini. It, it'd honestly be a huge pain because, like, the control. but, um, hold on. Thought I just saw my recording screw up, which always is a, 
annoying when you're editing. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I don't think I'll do that. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to show this, like show this to you guys. Um, so I guess first, let's check out the games. It has a lot of the same games that the NES Classic does, but it also has some that uh, I know aren't available on the NES Classic that are exclusive to the Famicom Mini. So let's see, we've got Ice Climbers, uh, Castlevania, Atodanchisno, I think, Nozzle, or I'm not, that kanji there, I'm not entirely certain. Could be Puzzle. Um, I think it's Puzzle, Nozzle, something like that. Um, some of these games, I have no idea what they are, by the way. Probably because they were Famicom exclusives. E, Aru, Conf. I don't know what that is. Excite, Excite Bike. Um, Galaga, Gradius. Some of these we all know. Super something, something, something. Oh, is that Contra? It looks like, yeah, that's definitely Contra. Um, Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario USA, which, for those who don't know, Super Mario Bros. 2, I mean, I'm sure most people know this story, but Super Mario Bros. 2 in the U.S. was actually a Japanese game called Doki Doki Panic that they reskinned for and put Mario characters in. So in Japan, they had a different Super Mario Bros. 2, but then later released Super Mario USA, which was the U.S. version of Super Mario Bros. 2 on Famicom. So that's what that is. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Solomon no, now that's either Nazo or like, I forget, like Trap Dungeon, I, I don't know, that I'm not great at kanji, so I'm not entirely sure, but I actually played a little bit of that one already, and it was kind of cool, uh, let's see, Downtown Kanji 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 Sore Yuke something, yeah, I, 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 again, not good at kanji, not at all. Um, but I, I, have, I have no idea. We'll have to play some of these. Oh, wait, there's two downtown games. See, like, the first characters at the start of each title are the same. So, oh, they, they must be part of the same series. I don't know what the, those are, or what those games are in America, if there is anything. Double, do, dr Double Dragon 2. Soup Potty something. <laughs> it's like sumo wrestlers. <laughs> Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong, something, balloon fight, Pac-Man apparently, Final Fantasy 3, the Japanese version, Kirby's Adventure, in the, or in this case I think Hoshi no Kabi, Yume no Izumi no Monogatari. So Kirby of the Stars, the Fountain of Dream, the story of the Fountain of Dreams, I think. That I don't know what that is, honestly. Mario Golf, um, Mario. Oh, this is just the original Mario Brothers, like the arcade one. Uh, Metroid, uh, Adventure of Link. It's Link no Bolken, literally Link's Adventure. And then the other one, the original Zelda is um. Let's see where it's way back here. Is uh, Zeruda no Densetsu, The Legend of Zelda. So I, it's kind of interesting. I guess in America too, it was called The Adventure of Link. So of course it'd have the same, like, similar name. Uh, Mega Man 2 in Japan, Rock Man 2. Okay, so I don't quote me on this, but I think this is Rockman 2, Doctor Waito no Wada. Like, Trap? I think I actually have this game on Famicom, like the original Famicom, so that's kind of cool. And back to Ice Climbers. So yeah, some of these games we know in the US, some we don't. So I don't know, I'm I'm not sure what I'll do as far as videos for this thing. Maybe I'll do a few, I don't know. Um, but what I'm kind of thinking right now is to choose a random game I don't recognize and see what it is. And there's one in particular that I saw that I kind of wanted to check out, so let's see here. It was a little farther... Was it this one? No, it wasn't that one. Um... Th no, no, where was it? This one. Like, it looks all nighty. And, yeah, I have no idea, but we're gonna find out. Makaimura. Oh, okay, so that must be the... 
what that kanji says, makai muda. Muda is like warrior. I think maybe it can maybe samurai is some sort of connotation with that. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, I didn't press a button fast enough, I guess. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? I feel like I've seen this game before. Is this... Ghosts and Goblins? Is that what it's called? I know I've seen it before. Like, the angry video game nerd reviewed it or something. I don't think I've played it, though. Yeah, this looks totally familiar. Yeah, okay, so that this just must be the Japanese version of... I think Ghosts and Goblins is what it's called. I honestly forget. You know, earlier in that video, I, I said that... Um... Playing with this controller is hard, but so far it's actually not bad. Oh, I died. So, okay, well that's that. So what, what's interesting is, and I think it's the same on the NES Classic, is to get back to the main menu where all the games are, you have to press the reset button on the unit, so not on the controller, on the unit itself. So let me just reach over and do that. There we go. And uh, if you want to, you can put a save state down here, but I'm not going to because I barely played anything. Uh, let's see, so let's do maybe do another one that we don't really know. Or at least we don't, I don't think we know anyway. Let's do Atodanches no Wada? Nuzzle? Uh, here, look at. Okay, so it's the same as, it's the same kanji as the one in Rock Rockman, so I'm pretty sure that's Wada or Trap. But don't quote me on that, so let's see what this... Atodanches no Wada. I don't know what Atodanches is, but... Mystery Adventure Start. Oh boy. Um, there's a time limit. I have no idea what this game is. This was probably... Oh shit. <laughs> this was probably like a uh, Famicom exclusive or something. I love how, like, a lot of this is in English anyway, even though, god damn, even though this was a Famicom exclusive, simply because, like, the hardware was not powerful enough to really, you know, display a lot of Japanese text, like kanji and shit. At least that's what I'm assuming. Oh, I can hurt, I can kill myself with my own bombs? Okay, that's good to know. Let's try going this way. Oh, I can totally go this way. It is really easy to die in this game. Yeah, I don't know, Japan and just, like, having random English stuff, like, they've done it in this game, they've done it in, oh, I guess I can't go that way anymore. They've done it in, like, modern games and old games, it's kind of crazy, actually. Um, it's okay, let's see, like, if I can, next time I die, I'm, I'm gonna go move on, because I'm clearly not very good at this game, whatever it is. We're doing okay so far. Oh, hey! We made it to the second zone! Go us! Okay... This is different. So this guy throws bombs, that's how he attacks. Except this thing's too smart. Can I, like, make the bombs blow up by pressing B again? Oh shit. No, okay, I can't. I just tried. Um... Well, I'm gonna go until we die, because we're actually doing okay here. This is kind of a jamming track for the Famicom. A lot going on. Pushing that sound card to the max, or whatever it had to process sound. Running out of time. Where's the exit? It's just seem oh, there's the exit. Oh, shit. I don't have time for you, I only have 300 seconds. Oh, uh, I want to get to the end. I'm actually kind of having fun. But this orthopod isn't letting me, and I'm not throwing bombs right. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, darn. That's a shame. We were so close, too. You know, I actually might play that again. Like, that was kind of fun, but we're gonna go back to the menu for now. 
Okay, let's see. So let's let's do another one that we don't know what it is. So Yadu Conf. I'm not sure what that is. Yi Air Kung Fu. Oh, so it was Kung Fu, not Conf. Sometimes with the that last character in in that we saw, it uh they don't pronounce the U, so that must be it. So it was Kung Fu. I guess I should have figured that by the guy kicking. Oh, so it's a very like early rudimentary fighting game. Oh man, this is riveting. I'm uh I'm on the edge of my seat. And I suck too. Can barely hit him. And we died. Okay, that's enough of that then. I'm not really looking to play any of these games thoroughly, just kind of to check it out. Okay, so that's Contra, I think. Uh, let's see. I tried this one. This one's kind of cool. Oh, it's, uh... So... Solomon no... Nozzle, maybe? Or Wada? One of those two? So, and I don't remember this ever being on an ES, but it's just kind of a... You have to, like, get through these stages here, and you break blocks by casting... You can place and break blocks by casting a spell. Um, so... There. And now we have to kill this guy. And then you grab the key... And then you can go to the... thing. I'm tr except I... there we go. So you just have to get through all the rooms, basically. And this is in English, too. Thank you, Dana. You released this room. Try next room. I'll bet it has something to do with, like, the Famicom just not being capable of, you know... ...of displaying... Oh, I can't kill those, apparently. Of displaying, uh... Oh, shit. Um... Japanese text that easily, as opposed to Roman letters. Okay, how, what's the best way to do this with those guys? Th those guys right there are coming. Because they're, uh, can't kill them. And they break your blocks. What if I do that? Huh. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um... Okay, here we go. Somehow I have to get to that key, and I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Oh shit. No! No, I screwed myself! No! No! Okay. Alright, well, let's try another one. Let's see, what do we got? So, downtown... There's two of them. Let's try downtown. I can't read Japanese that fast. Ah! Stop! Okay, I'm not gonna be able to read that. It goes by too fast. Technos Japan Corp. Downtown something something something. Um nani wait. Nan nani nanin de de pure suru. Oh how many people will play? One. Chimu o henko shimasu ka. Will you I think will you be in a team? No. Yeah, that must be what that is. Okay. Dotsuki Eh, kakuki... Wait. Oh. Hold on, wait, what? Okay, look. Okay, I guess it's actually gonna let me read this. Kot... Kotsuki... Eh, eh? Kakukyo... Gi no BGM o henko shimasu ka? Okay, so like... I think... Choose your, uh, music? Because, yeah, BGM Sentaku, I think, is choose, but we'll just go with... E no. Um... 
Hesabe. Uh, Hesabe is the person speaking. Kore yori kuros kantori. Kuros kantori. I don't know what that is. O okon. Okonaimas. Jinbi wa yoroshi des de shoka. Yes, I am ready. Okay, so I'm Niketsu team. I'm on Team Niketsu. Okay, sure. Um, what do I do? What is this? Why are they going so much faster? Was oh, it a race? Seems like it's a race. I can't go any faster. Where am I? I was like left behind. Um. Uh, I'm getting like destroyed here. How do I get back up? I'm like stuck. I I literally cannot find a way to get back up. Um, I'm just trying random buttons. Okay, I don't think we're getting back up. So uh, let's go back to the menu, I guess. That one was kind of interesting. Okay, so let's try Supati something something. Looks like a sumo wrestling game. Okay, Hajimedu. Oh man, we're writing our name with a bunch of freaking kanji that I don't understand. Um, yeah, I'm okay, so <laughs> let me explain the kanji thing. Like, I'm okay at Japanese. I know, like, some. Like, enough to sort of understand what's going on with certain things. But kanji, I just have not studied. And I should, because it's a very important part of the language, but I'm just, I'm not as, I'm not as good at it. So I just see all this kanji, and I'm, which is Chinese characters, by the way, and I'm just like, whoa, what the fuck? Okay, we're gonna be small, because I know that means small. It's impressive they could put these kanji on the Famicom. Small, mountain, thousand... I wouldn't know how to say these, like in Japanese, but I know their meaning. Thousand, I think that's thousand. Um... Thousand hundred. There we go. Um... Okay, kanji. I guess that's kind of reinforcing the sumo wrestling thing if it's all in kanji. Alright, we're sumo wrestling now, and there's a rabbit! That's fun. Whoa, whoa, hey buddy. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know which one I am. Am I the white one or the black one? I'm not sure what's going on. Did I win? Is that me? I'm not sure which one I was. Oh, I guess... I think that was me? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was me. S small Mountain, Thousand Hundred. Okay, I don't know what I did to win. Or how you're supposed to play. Oh, boy. I'm just kind of mashing buttons here and ho seeing what works. Apparently, I'm pretty decent, though, at mashing buttons, because, like... We're making progress. I'm literally just mashing buttons, and we win again. Fun! <laughs> Omigoto Rokushi... Oh, never mind. Alright, well, I I don't know how to play this, and we're, we're winning, but I still don't know how to play it, so I think we're just going to go back to the menu. Let's see what else is there that we uh, don't have here. I don't know what this is, um, I'm kind of thinking of ending the episode soon, though. So here's kind of what I'm thinking, maybe I'll do another one later, I don't know. Like another video, but I think for now what I want to do is... Let's go to a game that is on the NES and see if there's any difference. So I don't know which one. Um, let's go for classic Zelda. Oh, hey. It's like the Famicom startup thing. That's kind of cool. NES never had that. Why didn't the other games do that? 
Um, is that because this is a Famicom Disk System game and not just a regular Famicom game? Zeruda no densetsu. Omachi kudasai. Okay. <laughs> wow. That means, like, please wait. That's cool, because, like, the NES, like, for those who don't know, the Famicom was, like, way less powerful than the NES, but then they added something to the Famicom called the Famicom Disk System that took floppy disks as games, but the NES, by the time the NES came out, you know, they had already made that, so they just made the NES, like, have the ability to play more power, more, like, demanding games. Yeah, like, this is demanding. Um, so I guess on the Famicom, it, like, had to s take a moment to read the disc. That's, like, really cool, because all the NES games are just cartridge-based NES games. But anyway, here we go. Selecto... Sheet... Steak... Dasai? Oh, <laughs> wow. Selecto Steak Kudasai. It's all in Katakana. That's weird. Um, um... Kill mode? What's kill mode? That's weird. Um, kill, maybe that's like a hard mode. Is it? Was that it loading? There's no disc to load here. Maybe they just really wanted to make it accurate. Okay, let's choose our name. Um, we got a bunch of Japanese characters here. Let's go with... I... And it's all in Katakana for some reason. I don't know if I can change it. Um... I don't see anything, so we'll go with Ice... Ice Gay. So, uh, how do I... I just have to... How do I end? Omachi kudasai. As we're waiting for the non-existent disc to load. Ice Gay, here we go. So I guess on the Famicom, things took longer to load than the NES. Alright. Hitori de... It's literally all in Katakana, which is weird. For those who don't know, Katakana is one of the Japanese alphabets, and it's only... Well, it's not really an alphabet, but not in the same way that ours is. But it's, it's a writing system that's only used for foreign words, but in this case, they're using it for everything, which is not common. So Hitori de... Hitori de wa kiken ja kore wo kore kore o. It's so weird reading this all in katakana. That's not supposed to happen. Kore o sazu 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 keo. So it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Okay. Cool. I mean, it's Zelda. Like, I don't. There's not really much to show here, I just kind of wanted... <gasps> Honestly, I just kind of wanted to see, like, the Japanese in this game. And it's interesting seeing that it's all in katakana. Like, that I did not expect. Wait, okay. Nan... Nanka... Ko... Tekure... Yeah, I have no idea. It, the fact that it's all written in katakana makes it that much harder. Um, okay, well, let's go back to the menu. Now I kind of want to see what uh, Rink no Bolken looks like. Link's Adventure of Link. So here we go. Is I going to do the thing again? Yeah. I gotta admit, that's kind of cool. And this is all in English, so that's interesting. Whoa, that's different. That's not what it's like on the NES version. Link no Bolken. It sounds different, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure in the NES version, it's it doesn't sound the music doesn't quite sound like this. Okay, now we're using Romaji apparently, which is Japanese like words and Roman letters. So Namai name. Why are we using Romaji now? <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's just be Link, I guess. Because that's how we do things now, is in Romaji. 
All right, wait. It's all in English now. That's kind of interesting. Okay, link. Change side B. What? What, like to flip over the floppy disk? That's weird. Okay, now I want to go to one of the cities and see, like, are all the people talking in English or what? So let's see. I don't remember. I don't need that. Wait, wait. The music's still different. Like, here, let me get into another encounter. And they're all... What is up with that? Why is the music different? And the, all the enemies are like ghosts. That's not normal. Or at least that's not what the NES version was like. So I guess this version of this game is way different on the Famicom. Or at least a little bit different. Okay, well, let's go to this town. Wait. While it reads the disc that doesn't exist in this case. Okay, how do I read this? Okay, whoa, okay. A lot of different sound effects. Wait. Rauru e yokoso. Welcome to Rauru. Okay, well, now we're using Japanese text. So that's interesting. Oh. That's... That's hard to listen to. Okay, what is that? So... I don't even know what that second one is. Son? Hmm. I... Kuris... And this is all in katakana too. Or shinden ni modosereru. Ka. I I can't. It's hard to even tell what that's saying. Okay, is this bug? I am error. Mits. Mit. This is really hard to read. Mits no chikara. Okay, this isn't... Because I know... Okay, so there's a guy in Zelda 2 who says, I am error. And I know he said, like, something like, Bagudes, which is... The translators, I guess, thought meant that he was, like, a, a bug. I, I don't know. You, you could look up that story for yourself. Just look up, I am error, guy, Zelda 2. Oh, that's... Uh, I don't like that. Shiranai wa... I don't know anything, sorry. Are you bug guy? Okay. Para pan. Shinden de. Roink. Wait. Roink. O. Totara. Totara. Guys, I mean, if you don't, if you've never studied Japanese, like, you don't really know just by looking at this, but this is so hard to read. First of all, it's all in katakana. I mean, and it's also a Famicom, or, well, it's supposed to be, so, of course, it's not going to be perfect, but, like, like, I mean, the text, but it's really hard to, to, like, decipher that. I'm not used to having to wait so long with NES games, or, well, NES era games, like, I... It's a disadvantage of the Famicom, I guess. Okay, I'm, I want to go check out the other series or city, see if we can find that bug guy, the I am error guy. I I don't remember where he was. Maybe he's in here. This is kind of a long episode, but whatever. Okay, where are we? Ugh. Ruto, wait, Ruton Machi, something like that. What do you have to say? God, that... When they talk, that's just... Almost, like, disturbing. Okay, are you the bug guy? Ore... Ore... Wait... I, okay, that third character keeps showing up, and I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Oren... Oren... Na... Wa... Ira... Da... Era da. Oh, so that's... Okay, so... Okay, so here it says, Ore... Or something, I... I think it's supposed to be I. 
Ada da, so error. <laughs> so that's literally what it said in the Famicom. I always thought, like, the legend kind of was that it said bug, like bug. But I guess it's Ada, so we met him. So I, he, he is error. In the Japanese version, he is also error. So that's kind of cool. Here, I, let's just explore this town a little bit and see who else we can talk to. Let's see, Oshiro... Is that supposed to be like a period, or what is that? Oshiro... Minami... Oshiro mi... I think it's supposed to be like a period. Oh, it's like a comma? That's really weird. Oshiro Minami... Uh... Dokushi... Doksuni... Something I don't know. Magic. Ush. Utsu. Wait. Utsuwaga. Aru. I don't freaking know. Aruzo. You know, okay, so the thing is with Katsukana is there's a lot of characters that have to. that are like. that look similar, and to tell the difference, you have to be able to, like. You have to see, like, there's, like, a slight variation in, like, basically how they're... Like, the angle they're at is the best way I can describe it. And the Famicom does not make it easy to decipher that. I mean, if you're a Japanese person, you can probably guess by context. But I am not, so I don't... It's hard for me to tell. I just kind of want to see all the dialogue. Ah! Oh, that hurts my ears. Shinden. Gaki. Or Kagi. Kanarazu, um, Shinden de Otsukai, wait, Otsukai Nasai. So I think she's saying to use a key at the Shinden. I don't know what a Shinden is, though. Udonk ga nakereba. Wait, Udonk ga nakereba. Machi kara, machi kara, minami, totemo, totemo kiken yo. I, okay, I think she's saying hammer. Ronk, ronk might be hammer. Um, so without a hammer, it's dangerous to go south. Because there's like a, there's like a block you have to get out of the way. Wait. <laughs> Well, if it just says wait, they could have easily put Omachina Sai in there. Okay, I guess that's it. Oh, well, that was interesting. Um, okay, well, we're hitting, like, 35 minutes here, so I think I'm gonna end this here. I don't know, just kind of thought it'd be a fun video to show off the Famicom Mini and what that's like. Maybe I'll do another one and just check out more of the games. I don't know, but for now, I'm gonna leave it here. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next video. Thank you.